Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the addition theorem of probability. So we shall discuss addition theorem for two events as well as three events. And first, we are going to discuss about the addition theorem for two events. So the addition theorem of is of importance when the events A and B are disjoint. Oh, sorry, are not disjoint. So if A and B are any two events, which is a subset of the sample space S and are not disjoint, then we can write probability of A union B as probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. When it was, when A and B were disjoint, we could directly write probability of A union B as probability of A plus probability of B. So this is a case where these A and B are not disjoint. So they have something in common. So it is clear from the Venn diagram and the Venn diagram is as follows. The green circle is event A and the blue one represents the event B. They are not disjoint. They have some common space and that is a intersection B. That is the overlapping space. And in the green's part, excluding the intersection is what is A intersection B complement and the blue part excluding the intersection is A complement intersection B. So from the Venn diagram, we can write A union B, the total A union B as the union of two disjoint set that is A and A complement intersection B. The A is the total green circle and A complement intersection B is the B excluding the intersection. So we know both that A and A complement intersection B are both disjoint. So I can write A union B as A union A complement intersection B. So, coming to the probability thing. The probability of A union B is equal to probability of A union A complement intersection B. Since A and A complement intersection B are mutually exclusive, I can use the additive axiom, the axiom of additivity of the axiomatic definition of probability where probability of A union can be written as probability of A plus probability of A complement intersection B. So we get probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of A complement intersection B. Now if we look into the Venn diagram, we can see that A complement intersection B is the total B is there that is a blue circle from which A intersection B is removed and rest is A complement intersection B. So I can write probability of A in complement intersection B as probability of B minus the intersection. So from there we will get probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So as a corollary to the addition theorem for two events, we will get if events A and B are mutually disjoint or mutually exclusive, then we know A intersection B is phi and probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of phi which is zero. Therefore, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. So which is the third axiom of the axiomatic definition of probability that is the axiom of additivity where the events are disjoint. So now we are going to discuss the addition theorem for three events. So there are three non-mutually exclusive events A, B and C. So if we are required to find the probability of A union B union C then it is as follows probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C minus pairwise 
intersections that is probability minus probability of a intersection b minus probability of b intersection c minus probability of a intersection c plus probability of a intersection b intersection c so we are going to check how is a proof for this addition theorem for three events so what we do is first what we are going to do is we are going to write probability of a union b union c as probability of a union b union c where the b union c is considered as a single variable so we can apply the addition theorem for two events here where the first event is a and the second event is b union c so if first event is a and the second event is b union c what can we do we can write probability of a plus probability of b union c minus probability of a intersection b union c yes so from there what we are going to do is we are going to expand the probability of b union c we know probability of b union c as probability of b plus probability of c minus probability of b intersection c using the addition theorem for two events so in the second in the third step what we are going to do is we are going to expand probability of b union c so it is probability of a plus probability of b minus pro, sorry plus probability of c minus probability of b intersection c next what is left is probability of a intersection b union c so what we are going to do is we are going to open the bracket probability of a intersection b union c so a intersection b union c can be written as a intersection b union a intersection c so it's like opening the bracket isn't it yes so there also we have two events we can consider those events as a intersection b and a intersection c and its union is there so again we are going to apply the addition theorem for two events so in the addition theorem for three events what we do is at all these stages we apply the addition theorem for two events wherever possible and we come to the conclusion like uh, at the la at the last point that we are going to open the brackets so at the last what will what we will get we will get probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c minus probability of b intersection c minus probability of a intersection b union a intersection c can be written as probability of a intersection b plus probability of a intersection c minus its intersections so from there we will get probability of a union b union c as probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c minus probability of a intersection b minus probability of b intersection c minus probability of a intersection c plus probability of a intersection b intersection c so this is the proof for the addition theorem so here in this video we have discussed the addition theorem for two events and the addition theorem for three events thank you